everybody, thanks for tuning in and welcome back to my 10 gallon indoor aquaponics experiment. Today I'd like to talk to you about my modular aquaponics grow box and some of the features of it. I'm actually really happy with the way it came out. The first thing you'll notice is that it's nice and clean looking. It's a nice square. It's made out of solid plastic construction. The pump is housed in this pipe extruding down off the bottom here which is attached to the box but is removable. Um, so if I want to move this system to another aquarium, I literally, all I have to do is pick it up and move it to another aquarium. There's only one cord, power cord, plugged in. It's a continuous flood and drain system that's controlled by this here. You just adjust this to adjust the flow rate and thus the, the rate of flood and drain. Um, uh, the reason I decided to go modular is because um, no one makes anything small. And what this does is it gives you the ultimate flexibility to design your system as you want. So I can add or subtract boxes as I see fit. And if I want to go to a bigger aquarium, it's not a problem. I don't have to completely redesign my system. I simply have to pick up my existing modular boxes and put them on top of the new aquarium, and it's that easy. Um, additionally, if you want to plumb these together, they're fitted up so you can plumb multiple boxes in a row together and run them off a single pump if you, if you have a larger outdoor system. So it works for indoor or outdoor. Um, and it gives you the ultimate flexibility. You could design this in a way that you could go around corners if you have built a shelf for it. So I really, really like it. I'm very happy with it. Um, the second thing is the price. Um, looking online, you find these grow beds that are just insanely expensive. They're like two grand, you know, just for the bed. Uh, total systems costing like eight thousand dollars, sometimes like three thousand dollars. It's it's just nuts and. Uh, that doesn't work in an apartment so I wanted something that I could kind of build as I go um, as I upgrade different size aquariums or even move to a house someday I can just move this from an indoor system to an outdoor system when I have the space for it and add a couple of more beds which is nice um, then there's the price this is very cheap to build um, and there's no single point of failure so if this box breaks or the pump goes out I can just change that pump and I don't have to worry about the other boxes. I haven't lost a whole bed full of plants, I've only lost one box. Um, even if it's not repairable, I can just put, in, put a new box in its place. And the cost of replacing that is minimal compared to the cost of replacing like a $1,500 grow bed, you know, that you cracked or that you drilled a hole in the wrong place and it's ruined. You just replace one of these for a very low price. And then on top of that, um, each piece is autonomous so it's easily convertible if you want to convert this to solar, I could put in a DC pump and a solar panel and then it would run whenever there's power, from, you know, whenever there's sunlight. Um, and then it, would, it, would, it has, still has continuous flood and drain feature and, and it would just run by itself if you had an outdoor setup. And so that's, that's basically it. Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you want to keep getting updates on how this progresses, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I also post daily water quality updates on Twitter at joneal3 and pictures of my